What's good, YouTube? It's Books the Book Book. I got the best LeBron James build for y'all today. And first, I just want to say congratulations to LeBron, AD, and the rest of the Lakers. Definitely been rocking with LeBron since day one. But I've been trying to make a build as similar to LeBron as I can. And it's the best one I came up with. I went point guard to get the most badges. So just letting y'all know that. But we're going to go 23. And if you go small forward, it's, you just not you just not gonna get enough badges. You feel me? So the pie chart we gonna go with it's it's a few that you can go with to get a similar build to what you're trying to make, but it's always gonna be one category that's not right. So the pie chart you're gonna wanna go with is the Hall of Fame playmaking and Hall of Fame finishing. So you're going to want to go with the bottom physical pie chart for your uh, physicals. And you're going to be losing 60 of speed, but you're going to be gaining strength, you feel me? So it's, 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 re it's really up to you. Like, honestly, you don't have to go with the balance one. You could just go with the top one. So you keep your speed. That's really, really the smarter way to make it. I, w I would say because when you do the math on how much speed you lose and uh, how much strength you actually get, and it's it's really not worth it. Like losing 60 in speed, like for 10 strength, I I just feel like the speed a little a little more important, but the strength is more to to get your build like pretty much like LeBron James, but. You still not gonna get it right on. So for your close shot, you gonna go 84. Max your driving way up, your driving dunk, and we definitely, we definitely will be getting contact dunk. So you don't gotta worry about that. But we gonna, wanna, we gonna max your mid range, max your three ball, your free throw, max that out. 72 for the post fade, so you do get max shooting badges for your playmaking. 85 on the pass accuracy, uh, max your ball handle. Definitely gonna have pro dribble packages, so you ain't gotta worry about that. But for your defense, this is pretty much the category that's not gonna be like LeBron. You feel me? But in a, in a way that it you you can you can play with it like LeBron. I, I should say that this category is so you definitely with this build you can you can play like LeBron. You feel me? But your badge lineup is just not gonna be like LeBron. Your shooting badge lineup is gonna be like LeBron. But not your defense. Your playmaking is gonna be like LeBron's. Finishing is gonna be just like LeBron's. You feel me? And your defense is just gonna be the only one. But to get the most badges that you can, you going to max out your perimeter, your lateral, your steal, and put the rest on defensive rebound. So you're going to get six defensive badges. And if you look at LeBron's player card, he actually got a lot of bronze badges. So if, if you if you know what you're doing, you feel me? You you can you can do you can do a lot with six. Like you you definitely good with six on on a point guard build and you're gonna be taller than a regular point guard so you don't gotta worry about too much um, one thing I would say yeah like Le LeBron do got interior defense but when you go up on your height and your weight you will be getting your interior defense so if you wanna sell yourself and uh, get less badges you can definitely uh, switch that around <laughs> and for your body type you definitely don't want to go and or build I say define and you can want to go 6-7 you can go 6-6 six, six, but Le LeBron 6-8, six, 6-9 six, 250 but you, you don't want to go that tall you're going you're gonna to lose too much to your 3 ball you're going to lose a lot in, in a lot of places you feel me so you don't want to go six, 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 seven. 
and for your weight you can actually max that out to 225 you can't get up to the 250 lebron at but 225 that's pretty pretty much the best you can get i say 222 because you're not really getting no pluses nowhere else so 222 and for your wingspan all you want to do is get it to 87 where you get contact dunks and you do it for your standing dunk your, uh, you do get the standing dunk packages and all that so all you needed that over was 40 so I mean, you ain't even had them there but your three ball is at 63 LeBron is not a lights out three point shooter like as that's my man you feel me but yeah i'm not i'm not gonna act like he like he curry out there so with your three ball you just you just got you feel me don't throw on a lebron james jump shot but you do want to get you a good jump shot and you put your badges in all the right places play smart you feel me like like if you know what you want if you know what you're doing you, you can still hit when you get the uh 99 I would, I would say this, this is probably the best way to make it, but that's where you're going to go at, and you can choose from playmaking, shot creator, and slash and takeover, I would really go slasher, because I don't see playmaking takeover doing anything, like, anything important, and for real, for real, because the badges is going to get you ankle breakers, but I would, uh, well, you get a facilitating finisher, making it that way. You can make it with the yellow and red pie chart. You can make it with the blue and green pie chart. But it's all, it's always the area or two that you gonna be lacking in. So for your finishing, bronze consistent, Hall of Fame contact. LeBron actually do have the cross key scorer badge on, but this this the smartest lineup for your badges, you feel me, will be uh, Hall of Fame contact, Hall of Fame slithery. Um, those those really the the three you need to start with. I probably would go. Well, you're definitely going to need uh, Relentless. LeBron actually got Relentless on Hall of Fame. But you don't need it that high. You could throw on your Live City on, like, Silver or Gold. Throw Relentless on Silver. Get your fancy footwork on Gold. Or throw uh, Showtime on Gold. I probably would go there. Get your Takeover busting. you feel me? And for your shooting badges... Go catch and shoot, go range, go high zone. Flexible release is definitely hitting this year, but if you're gonna be in a corner, I would go uh, go corner or you can go go green machine. It's definitely hitting two go difficult shots if you're not gonna be catching and shooting. So uh, I would switch these two. Well, between these three, really, like I don't know, it it, it depend on it depend on how you build. Like I'm trying to show y'all if y'all playing just on ball only versus in the corner, the you know I'm saying versus just being anywhere on the court and you need just catch and shoot. You feel me? Like it's just, it's just different different setups. But you got 12, you get four gold badges or split it up. But Go uh, volume shooter definitely decent too. Um, I probably I would say I would say throw catch and shoot on before you uh, throw green machine on. But yeah, I would throw green machine on if you're not taking leaners. And handles for days you want to throw that on Hall of Fame Hall of Fame quick first step. You got the bronze, the brown build, so you gotta throw at least a gold dimer on. He got it on Hall of Fame, but throw neither. <laughs> I said neither. Uh, I'm, I'm tripping. But throw needle threader on bronze. 
Uh, I'm stuck on gold. Uh, you definitely gonna need your space crater on, tight handles, and eh, you definitely good right there. You can throw ankle breaker on if you prefer that. So you feel me instead of a uh, Hall of Fame space crater, you could go both of these silver. We'll keep it like that. That'd be that. That's that's a fire. That's a fire. Uh, playmaking badge lineup. I ain't gonna hold you, but I'm definitely gonna throw clamps on gold because you you gonna be a point guard still. You most likely gonna be taking guards unless you the three on your squad in the park. But we gonna have on your clamps. Uh, run protector on bronze. Bronze chase down. They could throw like interceptor on bronze or even heart crusher on bronze. That definitely worked. And Bron got heart crusher on bronze too. So you feel me? That's pretty much the best the best LeBron build. I fi I figure how to make it's like like again you can't get it perfect. Like on this build, the only the only thing is your your three pointer a little low. But if you if you could still hit like. You know what I'm saying if you, if you got a good good jump shot, I right, just watch my jump shot video. You feel me? And y'all gonna know what to do. But I'm booked. Stay lifted. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.